you want to hear who the winner is? Oh, sure. So, the winner of All-Star Celebrity Apprentice is the very great Trace Atkins. Trace Atkins was unavailable tonight, but we're joined now <laughs> by Penn Jillette, who came in yeah. second on second. All Star Celebrity Apprentice. But Penn is currently, I got some stuff to read okay, here. There's a prompter okay, there. See the prompter? Okay. Yeah, Penn is currently starring on Broadway at the Marquee Theater in a show titled Penn and Teller on Broadway. I take it you wrote the title. Uh, no, I did yeah. not, actually. Oh, right a lot of meetings for that, that time. <laughs> <laughs> there were. Um, Back on Broadway, on Broadway. Where we were. I, I, I want to talk about Trump, but i got to talk about your show. Please. O opening night the other night. I have seen Penn and Teller a lot. I have stolen one of your bits and <laughs> wrote it into a West Wing script, and yes. then people think you stole it from the West yes, Wing. Yes, they do. Uh, but Though they I, think you're kind I to let me use I it. I haven't been to the show in a few years. Just about everything in there was new. It's incredible. It, it's just amazing. It's in, intimate. It's this giant theater, and you bring it down to a candlelit room a at the theater. end, and it's intimate. And you know what? Let's stay a little bit after, and we'll talk about this online, the, okay. the show. Sure. Um, so Trump, who you know, I want to play you something that I, I think it turns out Trump may be the best analyst of Donald Trump we have amongst us. And I want you to listen to what he said the other day about being loved. You will love this. Okay, good. I always want to be loved, you know? <laughs> like when I went on dates, if a woman dropped me, which happened often, <laughs> I would always like to say, or at least in my own mind, that I dropped her. Does that make sense? Does that... So what happened makes me feel better. It's as if we're listening to his tapes with his psychiatrist. It is just, I mean. You know, the American public prayed for somebody on the political scene who would tell the truth without filters. And like the monkey's uh, paw, it's come back and bitten him in the butt. We have someone, you like it, America? Here's someone without filters. Yeah. Is this what you want? And it's kind of refreshing, except that he's wrong about everything. Yeah. But if he weren't wrong, and of course, Bernie. I think Bernie kind of tells the truth, too. Now, uh, Bernie Sanders, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, by the way, you as a libertarian, um, Ron Paul is rolling over in his bed tonight over what his son has said about this Iran deal, where uh, it's a very, you know, Republican, uh, warmongering kind of yeah. thing. This deal is no good, and, you know, we should keep saber-rattling at Iran. And so there, there is no candidate for you no. in the libertarian world. No, I mean, there'll be Gary right? Johnson again at some point, Yeah, I you'll suppose. be voting down there. Yeah, right? I'll be, I'll be uh, So now I believe, I believe on the set right now, is the first Donald Trump tie to ever make an appearance on this show. Is that is that a I, I warned could you, for you could you reveal I for you. to the it audience, sir? Right turn there. That over. And I want you to see that this oh, right here plate. is 100% plastic. Ah, uh, the gold. Yeah, the gold, plastic. Plastic. Yes. the gold is plastic. The gold is plastic, which is all you need. I want to say very clearly, I got this tie for free. Uh -huh. You're on Celebrity Apprentice right to the end. They start giving you wardrobe. They gave this to me free, and I sent $20 to China. Mm -hmm. So I am not guilty of the exploitation this tie represents. So you got, out of Celebrity Apprentice, you got a free tie. A free tie. And you got millions in box office sales in Vegas, I hear. Uh, we did okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> okay. It turns out that's the kind of show and Dancing with the Stars, which you're also on, that drives an awful lot of Vegas. Uh, uh, yeah, tickets. it turns out, I used to think that when I went on TV, I should do what I do, like do amazing magic tricks right. and stuff. Turns out that doesn't matter. Yeah. Just being on TV will sell tickets, and then they come to our show, and then they, they learn what we do. Uh, you know, Trump, the more I watch him, the more I see this... It, there's a childlike aspect to him. That thing about want to be loved, he really does He's want to be true. loved. And isn't he incredibly disappointed when people uh, don't would, like him? He would, so what I said uh, you know, four years ago when I was on the show, I said that I didn't think he would be a good president. I got called by everybody and said, no, no, he really wants you to support him. As a matter of fact, he Everybody in the Trump organization. Go backstage, ahead. before I lost, he said to me, you know, you really should have supported me for president. And this was, you know... <laughs> 
two years after or something. And I said, well, no, I'm not going to support you for president. We're, we're doing a reality show. This is a joke. This has nothing to do. Well, you've gotten to know me. And but no, I mean, I do. I think of everyone who was on Celebrity Apprentice, I'm the one who liked him the most because I actually like that kind of crazy, that nutty, nuttiness. honest yeah. And stuff. you've been around that in show business. We're going we're gonna to end for this TV show right now. We're going to stay in these seats. We're going to tape some okay. more. We're going to put it on the very last word on our website. The show on Broadway is Penn and Teller on Broadway, the easiest title to remember on Broadway. <laughs> Good. At hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.